Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your ball, and we back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best sand build that y'all can possibly run. So make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, bro. Join the family. We're on the road to 18k subscribers. Y'all been crushing the subscribe button and the likes and the comments. I appreciate all the comments and likes and all the support y'all showing. Let's keep it going. Let's get to 19,000 and let's get straight into the video. So first and foremost, let me go ahead and turn off my camera. First and foremost, because I forgot it on my last video. All right, this is what we're running. We're running a sand magic build, so it's mostly tank. The reason why we have Mahari, if you didn't know, Mahari gives you a 25% damage reduction and you adapt to damage. So the more you adapt to the damage, the less damage you take. But when you use shield, it literally cancels out all damage while that shield is on. Like you literally cannot get damage. I don't care what the boss is, how much damage the boss does. You just won't take any damage at all. And like, this is like the most tankiest build, the, the best tank build honestly i think um when it comes to just not taking damage mahari and sand goes neck to neck is perfect especially if you're using unyielding sentinel unyielding sentinel huh i don't have it come on bro all right unyielding sentinel let's try to get it so i'm gonna go i guess 145 like let's go 140 and let's just put the rest in here. I'm gonna go slow because I don't know, like, for real, like, what's going on with this. Because I feel like I can have more stats over there. Let's put 10. And then let's start just using one. See if we lose on Yielding Sentinel. Like, yeah, we just lost it there. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. I prefer to just have it like this. And then when I use my demon on top of it, you know, you get a little boost or something. Something like nothing too crazy. All right, so now we're sitting at 3,500 health because you want the unyielding sentinel. You just got to have majority of your stats into constitution until you see the the legendary um, trait pop up. Then you'll get the health, which is, you know, for tank builds. And you're not, when I say like, you're not bad with damage either. You're not at all. You can take a decent amount of damage like let me show you exactly what I, why we have mahari on because the adaptability plus the shield debuff when you fully adapt to something you don't even need to bro like fully adapt to anything you just gotta pop the shield hold on let me pop the shield real quick let's go ahead and weave that cool and let's pop the shield watch bro like i take zero damage like, this is how broken this is. Zero damage. So you can literally be the the, ag the person that aggroes the boss while everybody hits it. And, you know, do all the damage that you need to do. But having that title, the, um, I forgot what it's called. The, the Forsaken one, it takes a majority of your stats. So I would say change it if you don't want to lose so much mana. You can use Monstrous Reserves too to combat it, or you can go Mon Mono Wielder. But it will nerf you. You'd be at 2,700, which is still not bad. Like, it's still a decent amount of health. But it's, it's better than losing majority of your mana off your first skill. Because it, it does make you drain 100% of your mana. But if you want more health, and you're like, you know, I'm just going to focus on, like, my damage. Um, elsewhere. You can go your staff, depending on what staff you use. And then for damage, use this. And also having, let me see, what is it hitting for? It's hitting for 60, 60 per tick. Plus your hits, you're probably hitting for like 100 for real. And then you get the crit. So you're not doing that bad of a damage. Like you see like how much we're like chunking his armor. We're dropping him. So, you know, it's good for damage. And you also get poison if you have four leaf. If you have a four leaf, your sand turns black like this and you poison people. Um, this is honestly probably gonna be my main build. Now that I think about it. I do like being tanky, but the only thing I might change is add, I'm gonna put monstrous reserves. So I get more mana. So I'm sitting at a decent amount of mana cause it, it drains a lot of mana. So we're gonna go back to the main menu and switch that around and we're gonna test it out. And then the armor that I'm using is the new armor. 
that they added in the game, it gives around like 70 something. I think, is it 70? It's like 70, 70 con plus. So we're gonna change mystical eyes and we're gonna add monstrous reserves. Monstrous reserves, you, you gain mana back pretty fast, like super fast. Go ahead, go back to the server. All right, now we're gonna go text this out. Let me see, look, we got 2,300 um, mana now, cause it goes by percentage. So we have that, and then we our mana heals faster. <clears throat> yeah, I remember the first time I used it too, right? How much, how much um, mana it took for me when I used the shield. So we're gonna go ahead and use shield. Just go ahead and weave that, Get that out of the way. Weave, weave, use shield. Now look at that, barely taking it. And the shield is healing, and, and the mana is healing back much faster. So, you know, it sits, it sits perfect. Okay, now you can just, now that his um, thing is down, go ahead and pop that, and you can pop the aura. So now you're doing all that damage. Yeah, you do less damage now, but it's, you only went down like 10. For real, it's not that crazy. Look at that, and this is a this is a, a a corrupted ogre, so it's crazy. But yeah. All right, I'm be ending the video here. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Brush your heads, take care. Catch y'all on the next one. Eek's out. Let me know how y'all feel about this build, bro. If y'all gonna go the Monstrous Reserve route or y'all gonna go the, the Mystical Eyes route, which, whichever route y'all go. But yeah. Eek's out.